guys, this is Heather with Windberg Bathworks. I am going to make my first batch of soap tonight. This one is going to be used for the um, squeeze bottle part of the challenge soap, my second challenge soap, doing orange and um, cranberry. So this one is actually going to be orange tenfold, some lime essential oil, and some grapefruit essential oil. Alright, everything's around 90 degrees. So I'm going to add my little cuppy fragrance. Two bars and the rest is going to be for the uh, the um, squeeze bottle part. left over, um, depending on how badly I'm all. Wow. Let's throw some soap at myself. Um, I generally only take my soaps up to the emulsion stage, um, unless I want them thicker. Since these are going to get stick blended small with the colors, I don't want to have it any thicker right now. I'm going to try my squeeze bottle to rise a little thicker trace than last time. See if I can't get some, uh, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. See if I can get some, can't get some better detail on it. Um, I just added a little more to one of the oranges because, uh, my red, I don't need as much. This is Ruby Red Mica. This one is my dark orange. It's Ruby Red Mica with some um, fizzy lemonade and a little kind of copper sparkle mica. I'm just going on the outside of the oranges. And then this one is the exact same thing as the dark orange, only it's got a little bit of super curly white in it. Lighter. And that's going to be the inside of the oranges. contrast between my red and my red.
and there's my light orange for the inside of the orange. I am going to do the squeeze bottle part now, and I will show you that in the squeeze bottle designs um, part two, and then I will come back and put whatever I have in my mold. That'll be part of this video. It's going to be a very complicated video night because I am doing three soaps at once. Just cause. We're eight days in a row and I want a soap tonight. And I also have to get my Christmas soaps for my family in tonight. So I will be back once I have uh, that part piped. And then I'll put these in the mold and if I have anything left over. And we'll see how it turns out. See you there. Guys, um, bad news with the citrus soap. It's saved. Um, this is past soap, but it's like Play Doh pretending to be soap. So I am going to literally shrug it in the mold. Co op. It, it's, yeah. it's like old fashioned porridge right now. It's kind of you can vertically in. Um, so I am going to smush the soap into these molds and uh, it'll give me project work on the day the morning to work on for a while now. And that is soap balls. I have never made a soap ball. So I am going to put this they like soap, all three colors blob together in this mold. Uh, and I will be doing a some kind of citrusy soap with some soap balls on it. Now I've used all these essential oils together before. Never had this happen. I have no idea why it's happening today. Just cause. But, glass is always helpful. There's always something you can do with it. So what I'm going to do, the only thing that I can do, is you can see there is no way that I could put that in a squeeze bottle. I'd be impressed if I could even get it into the bottle, let alone out of the bottle. Um, to, even if I wanted to pipe it at this point, no, it wouldn't have worked. Unfortunately. Alright, so, these are going to have huge air pockets in them. I don't care, because they're going to be so close. I can't say mold all the way. They're um, halfway through to being so balls of it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, get in there. It's like so oatmeal. So, I'm not going to have time to do second soap for the um, squeeze bottle designs challenge. But that's okay. I'm happy with the one I got. It's all pretty. and so flaky. So... It was supposed to be refreshing and wake you up in the morning citrus bar is now a pile of goop. So I will probably turn those into soap balls in a couple of days. I will probably film me trying to turn turn those into soap balls in a couple of days. For now I am going to shut off the camera and get my oils ready for the um the Orange Cranberry Swirl, which is no longer going to be a uh, squeeze bottle design. Oh well, see you guys soon.